Hello all my truth seekers, welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truths. In this truth seeker requested video, I will be talking about YouTuber Daniel who allegedly committed suicide. Why? What happened? Let's go deep. Please note that this is alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. Here we go again. I mean, this is the truth show. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is the truth show. Oh, yes. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. Desmond Daniel Amifa, aka Etika, was an American YouTuber, online streamer, rapper, and model. Was born on May 12, 1990 in Brooklyn, New York. Yes, to father Awaraku Emafo, who's a politician and lawyer, and mother Sabrina Emafo. Desmond also have an uncle named Nana Akufa, who's served as the president of Ghana. Desmond attended Shell Bank Junior High School for one year, but he was getting bullied, so his mother pulled him out of school. Upon asking, he said most of his fights were over a girl. Desma later attended Urban Assembly School for Law and Justice and graduated from there in 2008. During this year, he made several DVDs that he called SJL Fam. He was also a part of the Free Food Mafia. Between 2007 and 2015, Emma Fa did some modeling and rapping. He even released a mixtape titled Written in Ice under the name Iceman. His modeling started at really get off the ground i mean this young man stood six feet six inches tall yeah he was pretty tall his name etika came from the 2003 video game sonic battle it seems that he was a huge fan of the game sonic the hedgehog and within the game players could input a cheat code titled akita which is spelled e-k-i-t-a and when Desmond, who was 12 years old, <laughs> he simply switched the T and the K. He went on to stream his games under the username EWN Network. It was originally planned for the channel's content to be produced or collaborated by a variety of users, including MFL himself, but such plans never materialized. He also had a channel named TR with the number one, then Iceman, which he had since 2006. Before YouTube, whatever they, they usually do, quick to close black channels, but keep people like Shane Dawson and Dasha K and much more open despite the drama that followed them. They closed his channel and started, and he started a new channel titled Etika FRFX, where he gained more over 100. 30,000 subscribers immediately and was slowly growing. His content consists of his reaction to Nintendo games and some of his reactions were pretty wild and crazy. Fast forwarding here. In November 2016, Emma Fah made two videos of him pretending to have a Nintendo Switch console before its 2017 release to gain notoriety and was scrutinized by fans. It was later revealed that the model that Emma Fah was using was a 3D printed by fellow YouTuber Sanquis, or Sanquis at his request. In June 2017, Emma Fah was allegedly a victim of multiple chargebacks or fake donations of large amounts of money sent to his PayPal account via stream donations, which would charge Emma Fah with hundreds of dollars in processing fees. Yeah, they were really trying to get at him. On October 23rd, 2018, Emma Fah Twitter account was temporarily suspended for him using the N-word. His response to the suspension with a video of himself frequently saying the word and defending himself for using it. Amifa also stated that the word had been adopted by black people, and I quote, he said, from a tool of hatred into a form of love and should no longer be treated as a racial slur. I disagree with him. I understand what he's saying, but I completely disagree. I hate that word and it shouldn't be used for any occasions at all. 
Meanwhile, during the video, MFA name-checked rappers such as Travis Scott and Drake, who also use the word in their songs and on social media. Two days later, MFA uploaded pornography to his EWN Network YouTube channel and titled it Etika, which violated YouTube's policies, you know, and his channel was terminated. Now that they do have a porn site on YouTube, but we'll ignore that for now. He later tried to add a second channel titled Etika FRF. X, but they terminated that as well in April of 2019 for the same reason. He was also banned from Twitch for using homophobic slurs. And then later, MFA posted a cryptic message to his social media saying, and I quote, it's my turn to die with a screenshot of his terminated account. A lot of his fans thought his statement was suicidal and it created a panic afterward. He later took to social media that evening to confirm his well-being along with other streamers who professed to have seen him safe and sound in person. Not sure how they knew that, but we'll let that ride for now. On October 16, 2019, following the termination of his second channel, Etika FRFX, MFA posted several tweets about ending his life. The first one stated, and I quote, Sevenarola. I have mispronounced that. I'm going to kill myself. You lot certainly have already. Shame on you all, silly humans. Yeah. He then tweeted he will kill himself by shooting himself in the head. This tweet led to his arrest and to psychiatric hospitalization. Christina Cardona, who had dated Emma from 2011 to 2017, confirmed his well-being and that she had been observing him all day. Oh, yes. Days later, MFA posted a Photoshop picture of himself holding a gun, which Cardania, his girlfriend, later confirmed it was fake and he was only doing it for money. On April 29th, after tweeting a vast quantity of cryptic messages, including homophobic and ethnic slurs that were promptly deleted, he blocked close friends of his and other YouTubers. Later that day, a concerned fan notified police after MFA's alarmingly erratic behavior during a live stream over 19,000 viewers on Instagram. Oh, I'm not done yet. Upon being detained, MFA shouted phrases and quotes from his apartment window, including, and I quote, The revolution would not be televised, only felt, which he also posted on Twitter on several occasions. Later that day, MFA also did a live stream titled Hi on his channel, TR, and the number one in Iceman, where he played songs from the Playboy Carti album, Die Lit, for a couple of minutes without saying anything. Then April 30th, MFA was interviewed by Keemster on his YouTube channel, Drama Alert, in which MFA stated he was the Antichrist and that he wanted to purge all life. Then later, MFO was detained again later that same week for assaulting a police officer. Later that day, MFO did a live stream titled Stupid Monkey, during which he ate a carton of raw eggs, allegedly, and made several monkey noises without saying anything. So I'm assuming he was reacting to what people were calling him, so he just... So, so he just started acting like a monkey since people seem to think black people are monkeys, even though we are like monkeys. We don't grow hair. Most black people, true black people who are largely percentage of African, they don't grow hair all over their bodies. They don't grow up seen here on their arms. They don't grow up seen here on their backs and all over their bodies like um, white people do or people who are not African or black. So I don't know where that monkey phrase come from because we don't have slit lips. Black people are known for their lips. Monkeys don't have lips. <laughs> I can go on and on, but I think you all get the picture. We don't favor or look like monkeys at all. So I don't know where that came from. That was a stupid racial slur and whoever came up with it need to read a book. Sorry, I had to put that out there because I hate that phrase and I hate that comparison. Up at Amphal's constant erratic behaviors, his followers stopped taking his suicidal actions seriously and thought it was humorous rather than signs of him struggling with his mental health, which he obviously was doing. This video where Amphal assaulted a police officer was posted online with the caption LMFA 
with a lot of O's and people who witnessed the event were actually laughing. During the majority of Amethyst's live stream in 2019, most of the viewers in that chat spammed clown emojis because of his constant repeated erotic behavior. You know, he was crying wolf. Here's a brief word from my sponsor. The world's falling apart. Every day, another shocking headline makes you wonder what tomorrow will bring. That's why those who know what's coming are using today to prepare. I'm talking about getting your family some high quality emergency food from my Patriot Supply. My Patriot Supply is a nation's leading preparedness company. They've been in business for going on 14 years now, and they've served millions of American families. Now they want to help you by giving you $50 off their popular four week emergency food kit. Oh, yes. You get four weeks of food per person with meals designed to give you more than 2,000 calories a day. By the way, this food stays fresh up to 25 years in proper storage, so it will be there when you need it. Other food goes bad first, you know what I mean? So don't wait. Go to prepare with my link here with the truth and claim your four-week emergency food kit. You'll save $50 per kit if you act now. So prepare with me at preparewithtruth.com. Don't wait. Do it today, y'all. Around midnight on June 20th, 2019, MFA released a video on his TR1 Iceman channel titled, I'm Sorry. In the video, MFA admitted to having mental health issues, struggling with the attention he had gained from streaming and apologized for pushing people away from him. YouTube soon removed the video for violating its community guidelines, though MFA fans reposted the video to other outlets. YouTube is something else, I tell you, and this probably pushed him over the edge too. To be silenced and getting constant roadblocks can drive you mad. Look at what they're doing to my channel. I have a backup though, and I don't struggle with deep mental health. You know, I have my support system, but this was a young man and he was practically alone and he did. However, MFA was last heard from around 8.36 p.m. on June 19th, commenting on YouTube video for the Travis Scott song 90210 he put in a caption dope then later MFO was reported missing to the New York Police Department NYPD the day after uh, the I'm sorry video was uploaded while the NYPD began its own search fellow internet personalities and his fans tried to reach out to him to offer their hope and show their appreciation for his work over the years but on the evening of June 24th, a body was observed near the Pier 16, approximately a half a mile down the East River from where Emma Fuss belongings were recovered and reported to the NYPD. By the morning of June 25th, the NYPD and emergency medical services have recovered the body, confirmed it was Emma Fuss, and stated that he was dead at the point of recovery. The following day, the Office of Chief Medical Examiner confirmed the cause of death was suicide by drowning. I don't know how you can tell. When a body been in the water so long, it's hard to tell how they drowned, honestly. After leaving some of his personal belongings on a pedestrian walkway, Amafa jumped from the Manhattan Bridge and drowned, according to Amafa's ex-girlfriend, Christine Cardona, who allegedly claimed he died on June 22nd. Not sure how she knew that, but I would just let this ride for now. Many people posted tributes and remembrance of Amafa. A YouTuber named... Pew Die Pie, in particular, went all out. He started a fundraiser site where 100% of the profits were to be donated to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI, in Amethyst's name, on July 15, 2019, on behalf of Joy Con Boys community. Abe Hunter donated the amount of 11315 dollars and 25 cents that was raised in memory of MFA. He even started a crowdfunding GoFundMe website with Jack Black for the NAMI. Pew Die Pie and Black Jack Black streamed themselves playing Minecraft together to raise money for their fundraiser Pew Die Pie and he himself donated ten thousand dollars and raised over thirty thousand dollars. YouTubers Abe Hunter and Double A worked with murals, you know, with artists such as BK Fox and graffiti artist Kestad M. 
who and JMZ Walls to create a 40 feet long mural completed by November 2019 dedicated to Amifa in Bushwick, Brooklyn. The mural was created to celebrate Amifa's life and to help bring awareness to mental health issues. The mural's location was added as a virtual pokey stop and the augmented reality game Pokemon Go in February of 2020 after over 350,000 people requested Niantic to add it in memory of Emifa. And it goes on from there. I must say this is very nice of them and I do have questions on Emifa's channels and so on. I mean... Why was he constantly getting shut down and striked and sabotaged like this? Someone or some people had to put YouTube on high alert. Someone or some people had to troll this young man to the point of suicide as well. Maybe even stalk them. I'm very suspicious, but I would end it saying, May Emifa, a.k.a. Etika, rest in peace. If you or anyone else struggling with mental health issues, call that number below or just call me. I'd be glad to hear your story. You are not alone in this. There's millions of the people who are also struggling with this. With that said, thank you for watching and let me know what you think below. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post my videos. Love you all. See y'all later. Bye.